Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to showcase a new tutorial on how to create some chiptunes. Um, today I'll focus this video on how to create chiptune sounds with the Maelstrom. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a combinator. Let's do that and then I am going to open up my... Let's see what I got here. Uh, my own little refills. That's close enough. I'm going to delete this. Let's create a full mixer. In the mixer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a maelstrom. And now to create chiptune sounds, you're going to use some very basic waveforms. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select, uh, where is it? The VST waves. VS waves. There we go. So we're going to take that, put that into oscillator A. We're going to bring down the decay, bring down the attack, keep the sustain, actually keep the decay up, the sustain down, release down. Um, for the motion, I'm going to bring the motion all the way down, and I'll let you hear what that sounds like. Let's bring the index up. One of the waveforms I really like is this wave right here. It's uh, number 26. And then for modulator B, I'm going to choose just a regular old square wave. Okay, let's uh, let's not sync it. Let's move the pitch up. And now let's move the rate all the way up. That's the classic arcade sound that you're going to get. Turn off the filters because we don't really need those. And now some of the other things you can do with this is you can move this right up. Move the pitch all the way up. And that's really all there is to creating a chiptune sound. Um, now, a few other things that we're going to do while we're here is we'll open up our programmer and on our maelstrom we're going to create a switch to change the pitch to around 45, let's say. We'll put that on the button. So button 1, we will go to our, uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see, pitch, yes, okay. We'll go to the oscillator. We want oscillator A. No, we don't. We want modulator. Modulator A to pitch. That's what we want. So, first thing we're going to do is set this up so that it goes to about 45, 46, and to 63. So, that'll be our. Okay, so that's our pitch button. And then up here on the rotary, we'll change this to pitch rate. And for that, we're going to take modulator A, pitch uh, rate, 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 modulator A rate. There we go. But what we want to do is we want to change the rate from about. About 96 all the way up to 127. So let's change that here. And then for the other thing that we want to do, um, let's put a rotary on the index. Index. So this one we will change oscillator A index. 
Okay, now some other things we can do is we can change the rate over here to about 100 all the way upward. And we will put that over here. We'll call that pitch B rate. And that's going to be going rotary 3. And then the rate's going to be about 100 to 127. Then the other thing we'll do is we'll modulate this motion parameter. So for that, we got to take modulator B to motion. Okay, I'm going to take off this little enable button, which is not really enabled. Um, so what are some of the other things we can do? Well, let's also add an effect. We're going to add a scream for distortion, which is going to put it on aux 1. We'll turn this down quite a bit. And then we will choose the digital. Uh, let's just turn this up all the way. distort our signal. So what we'll do is okay over here we'll change this to be distortion and we're going to automate this aux one knob so we'll go back to the mixer and for button number two we will go to the one send and that should change hmm. yeah okay so that changes the knob there beautiful so now for the distortion and that just gives it a little bit of a digital distortion here um, to the signal. So that's essentially how you create some chiptune sounds using uh, nothing but a maelstrom. Uh, again, these sounds are very basic. And if you like this patch, then you can go down to the comp completed patch, um, which I actually did for the factory sound bank. And I'll show you where that's located. If you go into the recent sound bank, go under combinator patches, and then go under, where is it, Synth Lead. And you'll see here Chiptune Emulator A. So just double click that. And this is my Maelstrom Chiptune Emulator, which is exactly what you saw, except that it's got um, some different waves that you can use. <laughs> So you've got a filter that you can turn on. Some motion you can play with. And a big pressure. And you can find that, like I said, under the factory sound bank. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on how to create some chiptune sounds with the Maelstrom. Come back and I'll uh, show you a couple more uh, tutorials along the way. Uh, again, you can visit me at reason101.net and I am your host, Rob. Thanks a lot for watching.